What's up guys, if you're new, this is old Yeller. She is a 77 C10, custom deluxe. And uh, I got it for $800 province over. And I'm trying to fix it. Uh, I do have this torque converter here, which uh, I had left out in the snow and it's probably no good now. This is the old transmission that came out of the truck. And then I have another torque converter in here. This is the uh, one that came out of this transmission, I believe. But I stored it properly, so I should probably use that one. If I'm going to switch converters out. Uh, to catch you guys up, me and Clayton did uh, some work on the brakes on this thing the other day. Clayton sat in here forever. Pumped the pedal a gazillion times. And then eventually uh, we had power. Power. We had... <laughs> pressure and uh, flew it at the brakes. It took forever, but eventually it started working. So the next step was to then, look at that great closing door. The next step was to then put it in gear and see if the transmission worked. Cause one of the original things with this truck was that the transmission didn't work at all. Uh, and when we tried that, none of the gears worked. So, so I'm under here again, investigating, seeing what's up. This thing was so close to being a running driving truck, but I uh, have to do a little more work, I guess. I was thinking maybe I didn't have enough washers in between here to space it into the transmission and it wasn't connecting into the pump. But the way I had it, it's hard to see, but you can, it only moves a tiny little bit. If I put one more washer in there, it would be bottomed out in the trans as tight as it goes to the trans. And I know they're not supposed to go that way. I thought maybe that'd be a quick, easy fix for the transmission not working, but uh, I don't think it's that. So I'm just gonna remove the torque converter bolts. Alrighty guys, so we've made some progress here. Got uh, that undone, obviously, that one's easy. Got the old uh, drive shaft, freaking longest drive shaft ever out. Shifter off, uh, that vacuum thing. Back there off, the uh, tranny lines are cracked loose. Uh, so they're ready. Uh, I got the mount undone. So really just the uh, bell housing bolts and uh, I'll have to drain those lines and take them off. And that's it. So I mean, it's really pretty simple, but it's not something I constantly want to be doing is pulling out these transmissions. <laughs> I'm going to leave the starter in place because that's uh, one of the biggest pain in the ass is really, in my opinion of doing the tranny swap. We'll take a really good look at the flex plate once we have the transmission out. Uh, double check that. But actually, I don't really plan on taking it out. My plan right now, I'm hoping that I'll be able to slide it. There isn't much room here between the uh, cross member and the pan. Like, I'm hoping I'll have enough room on top of the uh, trans in the tunnel that I'll be able to kind of move it up and hike it back on top of this trans cross member in hopes of being able to sneak the other torque converter in there without fully dropping the transmission to the ground. So let's see uh, what I can do about that once I get these last couple things undone. So I got the engine and transmission split apart. As you can see though, I don't think there'll be enough room for the converter to come forward and uh, be able to get off the splines of the transmission. So I'll have to drop it down, which means taking the oil cross member out, which is whatever, but at least we're uh, at this point now. Got some fluid draining out of there. And yeah, other than the cross member, eight bolts or whatever it is, ready to drop. All right, so it is the next day and the Eagle is ready to land. I removed uh, the cross member out from under here. And now the trans is just on the jack, so uh, I'm going to try to lower it down without killing anyone, especially me. And then we'll uh, pry that torque converter off there if it doesn't just fall off once I put it on the ground. Hopefully this will go pretty easy, I'll pop the other one back on and lift it right back up in there. It's going to go nice and slow, so far so good. Success. So from here, hopefully I can, yeah, I'll be able to pull it back enough under here and we'll swap the old uh, wiggler out.
<laughs> All right, so uh, after being persistent with the hammer a little more, got her to pop off. I like the plasma cut a dick in this thing right about now. So this converter is the one that came out of this truck originally with the TH350 that said, uh, the guy said it was no good when he sold me the truck. So hopefully it wasn't the converter that was the problem. I mean, there's chances are that that converter is no good and that it actually is a problem. So I figured I would just throw this one in. Put the transmission back up there. <laughs> hopefully it works. And if it doesn't, we know the transmission is no good probably and it's not the converter. But then again, it's still a guess. So, yeah. Oh. This converter also weighs feels like at least one and a half, maybe two times as much as the the other one. Oh, this is gonna be tough. But this one slid on easy at least. Before, hopefully the, you know, the splines are twisted from that bad converter or something. Turning up uh, Millhouse now, guys. So that's pretty awesome. This is the turning point of my mechanical day today. <laughs> so next, uh, yeah, we just got to jack it back up in there, get it on the dowel pins. Uh, probably won't be much to video of that, but just assume I had a really hard time doing it. Woo, we did it, guys. Transmission's up in there. Got uh, it on the dowels, bolt in on either side, holding it tight. So now we're going to slam in that cross member, put that back up in there and start picking away at all the little things. Like I said, I'm just going to leave the two bell housing bolts out for now because they're kind of a pain and it'll be fine with the four of them just to see if it works. Uh, if it works, I'll put them in obviously. But uh, yeah, all the other little knickknacks and things and then eventually the drive shaft. And uh, we'll put this thing on the ground and see if it works. Definitely making a mess out of myself doing this job. <laughs> Pants are just soaked in tranny fluid, rolling around in it under there. But uh, that's why I recommend this over uh, coveralls. All right, so I <laughs> got it all done. It's fun as usual. Uh, drive shaft in, all the stuff in. The only things that I have left to do are the two top tranny bolts, and I bolted in one of the side bolts for the bell housing that the dipstick is supposed to be in. But I'm probably gonna be pulling this out again soon anyway. So put her on the ground and see what she does all right mother truckers time is now uh i do realize that i could have hurt this transmission in the first place by running it without enough fluid in it and it probably could use a top up well obviously could use a top up right now but it's because of the fact that i'm sure you guys want to find out and i want to find out we're just going to try run it for a second just pop it into gear just see if it moves if you can feel it going into gear and that's all Hopefully it doesn't have battery to start. Come on. Okay, I guess we'll be getting the booster cables. To be fair, I only ran it for like five minutes after boosting it last time. Booster on, let's see what we got here. Yeah. Still very hard to start. Come on. There we go. Just had to talk to it apparently. And the big moment. Ah. 
I don't think it's working, but it kind of died there. Oh, Jeebus. Come on, you bitch. Got her started again. I'm just gonna let it warm up a second and then we'll try. I don't want to die again. Or we can just try now. Holy shit, guys. It's trying to move. Well, that's all we're going to get for today, guys, because I got to go to Wednesday, but, uh, the the wheels are chopped right now so it wasn't really going to move too easily but it was trying to move it probably needs more fluid because it's really low on fluid and i don't want to run it anymore and uh, possibly hurt it but right now i'm going with that converter fixed it hopefully my dreams aren't shattered in the next video and i have to take it all apart again but uh i think we're doing good there guys so uh i'll see you guys in the stream like in an hour and you'll see this uh thursday after the stream so uh yeah Hope you enjoyed today's uh, Square Body Chronicles. And uh, until next time, uh, take it easy.